excuse the light, excuse the hair, excuse how sweaty I look. Yeah, that's probably enough excuses. Let's get into some cheap makeup. Hi there. So if you didn't know, uh, we didn't have Primark here in Czech Republic for the longest time. And now we do. And it's been a little bit of a madhouse. I've been there twice to this day and um, it's an insane place to be, honestly. It's like really hard to get anything. I got a pair of jeans and then I decided, you know what, like the makeup section looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna tough it out and I'm gonna get some stuff. And I got some stuff and I really want to test it out. Today we're gonna be trying out some Primark makeup. Some of these things look pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna start off with a primer as we usually do. This is the Prep and Perfect Glow Boosting Primer with Yuzu and Pink Grapefruit and it should help hold the makeup and reveal your natural glow. And it has like these little beads in it, it looks kinda cool. So I'm just gonna apply some of that. It definitely smells pretty citrusy. I actually quite like that. It's starting to get a little bit tacky. Um, I have used it a couple of times and I think I like it. They have so many primers, I didn't know which one to go for, but you know, the citruses always get me. Uh, next, I did a little. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this. I have a cream bronzer, I have a cream highlight, and I have a liquid blusher. But what I also have, is a powder foundation. Like, I don't know what my brain did the day I was there, but I think it was like malfunctioning because like, <laughs> so I don't know what to do now. Because one thing you can do is just use the powder foundation, wet it down, and then hope for the best and try to apply the cream product. But you know what? I think we're gonna tough it out. I'm gonna try it. I never tried to like rehydrate a powder foundation, so let's try it out. Okay, so first we gotta use a concealer. I have this. I would never, ever, 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 in a million years, use a concealer stick. But if Robert Welsh tells me that this stick is good, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see if the stick is good. So this is the PS My Perfect Color Concealer Stick with medium buildable coverage and natural finish. And I have the shade Porcelain, which I believe is the lightest shade. And it's a stick. Do I have high hopes for this? Not at all. So let's apply that. You know what? I think I have a shade that's a little too light for me. The finish of this is like truly skin-like. You cannot see that. You can see the brightening in the monitor. I can definitely see there's some brightening going on. However, you cannot really see the texture. That's not bad at all actually, but I almost feel like I need to get the darker shade. We have the foundation. This is the My Perfect Color Pressed Powder Foundation with buildable coverage and matte finish and I have the shade 2 Ivory. It looks like this. I actually quite like the packaging. It's like matte and pretty like luxe. You get a mirror in it. It looks nice and you get like this little spongy thing. Sometimes I use these to apply those but I usually use it like once or twice and then I throw it out because it gets super disgusting. So I'm gonna try to see how much coverage I can build up with a sponge and then I'm gonna pick up one of my brushes that I prefer to use with a powder foundation. Foundation. I'm gonna leave out my under eyes out of this and for those I'm gonna use the Blurred Out Skin Conditioner Universal Blurring Powder. It looks like this. It smells like something you shouldn't be breathing in. 
My face looks extremely flat and smooth right now. You can see where I applied the concealer. It's nice and bright and it looks very matte and smooth. I'm not used to this uh, kind of look right now, but it does look pretty nice. And uh, now we're gonna try and rehydrate the face. Now I have this Primark Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray. So we're gonna spray this all over our face and then we're gonna try to apply all the creams. I do look a bit more hydrated, so we'll see. We'll see how all this works, if we can even use this. So what I have, what I had to get because it looks so good, this is the Bronze Whip Velvet Finish Cream Bronzer. And of course it looks like the Chanel one, like... <laughs> I believe they only had one shade, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, like I'm not sure it worked the best on top of the powder foundation, but it's not the worst. I'm not like 100% stoked about it. It doesn't look too bad. It's it's like definitely wearable shade. It blended quite easily, even on top of that rehydrated powder. So I think it's quite nice. And it was a bit more pigmented than I expected, actually. So let's move on to the blush. And I have this little guy, which I just, I couldn't resist. Look at how cute this is. And this is the Pro Skin Barrier Cheek Tint, which actually contains vitamin F, blueberry oil and squalane. And you get a ton. This is 17 milliliters of product. I wanted to go for a little bit of like a blushier look because this has like that nice almost like sunburned undertone it is kind of sticky still but it blended like pretty nicely i would say i'm not mad at this at all and the last complexion product that i have is this summer hues glow wand highlighter which looks like this this was on sale and it has like a little sponge applicator I'm not sure how well you can tell on my cheeks, but it's very like nice and luminous. I did swatch it the other day and I was like, I was like pretty stoked about it. Look at that. It's really nice and reflective and it's not too light. So it kind of looks like natural. I think this would be really pretty on its own. I'm thinking about adding a little bit of the powder because right now I feel a little sticky. So I think I just want to powder some of the areas a little bit. So that did mattify parts of my face and I feel like everything is still kind of there. Also, let me get this. Um, this is the Vit Rich Lip Oil with Hyaluronic Acid, Raspberry Seed Oil and Jojoba Seed Oil. I'm just gonna quickly hydrate my lips. I've been using this for quite some time and I really like this lip oil. I have just one eyebrow product here. This is the Brow Sketch Pencil in the shade Blonde. And it looked like a very nice cool toned blonde. So let's just use it, shall we? Okay, so 
I was a little wrong. It's not very cool toned, but it's not a bad pencil. It's a little bit hard for my taste. I had to like push it quite a bit to get some pigment out of it. And the color is a little so-so. It's more of a warm brown. I think it's wearable because it's similar to my roots. I would say it's not a bad brow pencil. I would say it's comparable to like drugstore pencils. I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'll be right back. Now for the eyes, I have multiple things. Uh, I didn't want to go in and buy like one of those huge eyeshadow palettes because you know, like, if it's bad, I'm not gonna use it. It's just all gonna go to waste. So I wanted to grab something different. First, I saw this, which is their single matte eyeshadow. I have no idea if this has a shade name, but it's gorgeous. It's like this really pretty burnt orange and it was super cheap. And then I saw this one, which is the On The Go Complete Eyeshadow Palette. They had a couple different versions, but I picked up the one in the shade Smoke and it looks like this. It's very cool toned. It's very like smoky and this one, this shimmer right here convinced me that I want it. You get one matte, which is black. Then you get these two, the blue and the gray, which are like kind of matte with like little glitters. And then you get these two, which are like full on shimmers. And this one is kind of like a very soft metallic shimmer, more like a highlighty shade. I think we can just get to business and see what we come up with. So now we're back. Uh, the eyeshadows are actually pretty good. Like this one, I have no complaints. It worked perfectly fine. The palette is actually better than I expected. The only problems I had was with the gray shade, but it's technically a shimmer. So I'm not sure if like blending issues are that valid, but overall I made it work with a black. The black worked beautifully, even as a liner. I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna finish off the bottom and I'm gonna add a mascara because I didn't pick one up. They have like 50,000 mascaras, but I forgot to get one, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I topped it off with a little bit of light orange liner and some shadows on the bottom and then this great mascara from Essence. And um, we're gonna continue. Oh, I forgot to highlight one of my inner corners. One minute, please. I don't usually go this smoky, but I kind of like it. For my lips, I have actually two products. I don't know what to use first. So we're gonna look at both of them. This is the Gloss Oil Stain. So this is technically like a tinted lip oil. I have no idea what the shade is. I believe it was on like the outside packaging, but it's like a cool toned beige. So now there's nothing on my lips and I'm gonna try it on. It does have a formula of like, um, almost like a lip balm. This is nice formula. This is a very lip balmy type of formula. I wouldn't necessarily say it's that glossy. It does give you a little bit of a shine, but it's not like oil stain, like the Japanese style kind of thing, which I kind of hoped for. And I like the beige nude tint. And the second lip product I have is the Luster Lipstick. And I have the shade Sugar Kisses.
feels nice and comfortable but i don't think i like this color with this look it's a little too pink for my liking however the formula is very nice so i took a little bit of the nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade lima and i'm gonna apply the gloss stain again and this is the finished look So, honestly, okay, this is a shitty blend. Let me assess the situation, okay? It looks better from far away when you cannot really see anything. However, considering I only had like cream base products, I would say the base looks pretty good. And considering that I applied this on like a wet powder foundation, it looks great. The texture is like melted together. There's nothing like sitting weirdly on my skin, which is a big surprise to me. The highlighter, mm, I kind of expected it to pack a little more punch, but I like it. I like the primer, the foundation is actually kind of nice. I wouldn't say it's too dry, which is a big plus for me. I hate drying powder foundations. Then the bronzer was pretty nice, a little too warm, and I still have to try it out with, uh, with like a cream base. Same thing with the blush. This smells so nice, <laughs> and I actually like the pigmentation. It's one of the more pigmented liquid blushes I have, but on the other hand, it has like this very nice thick but liquid texture. Oh yeah, and the concealer. I think the concealer is actually nice. I'll have to keep trying this out and see if I can actually incorporated into my regular routine but i think it's not bad at all for a steak pretty damn good the eyes i have a little bit mixed feelings if i look from really far away it looks so good when i look up close i can see that the gray from the palette with the orange didn't really blend that well like on this side it's just not it i tried to go in and re-blend and like reapply and uh, zhuzh it up a bit doesn't work they just don't want to but i still think it's the fact that the gray shadow is technically a shimmer so it doesn't really blend as well but i'm so thrilled about the black eyeshadow that black shadow is incredible and also the shimmer like that shimmer stole the show for me as well as the inner corner highlight i think this is a pretty good palette oh yeah then we have a bunch of the lip products the lipstick nice formula i didn't really dig the color and this oil stain i prefer it a lot more with a dark lip liner underneath however it's still it's still like budging up at my outer corners and it's making me a little bit mad so maybe go very easy on it yeah so next time i'm gonna go a little bit more light handed with it but it looks nice i like the finish this actually reminds me a lot of the colourpop luxe glosses i almost want to go and check out different shades to see if the more pigmented ones perform different so i would say we're looking pretty good right here like except for that occasional shitty eyeshadow blend i like the way this looks yeah, that's it for me and my Primark haul. I also got this little like makeup tape, but that's for another video. So thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know, subscribe and, and wait for more. Thanks, I guess. Bye.